Hi everybody, I'm Mike Miller. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for checking out The Other Side. And um, my guest today is Rose Camigo. I appreciate you being here. Did I say that correctly? Yes. So how's your day been going so far? It's been hot. Yeah. It's the hottest part of the year, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I was very sweaty up there on the stage. Playing those songs, yeah. That was a very good set. I know the, the viewers will enjoy the uh, songs that she's got as part of this show. An excellent set she just performed. Oh, thank you. And so, uh, have you lived in Denton a long time? Um, yes. I've been in and out of Denton a few times. Um, I came here, the first time I came here was in 2000 when I started school at UNT. Yeah. And then um, I left and traveled around and lived in Dallas for a little while. And then I came back here in 2007. And that was when I met my husband. He was in the math department. And um, we've been here ever since then. Oh, really? Yeah. So your husband's a math teacher? Yes. That's good. That's a good skill. That's always, uh, there's always a big need for math teachers for sure. And um, you started playing music when you were in, in middle school, you were saying? Uh, well, that's when I started playing guitar. I, um, I played piano when I was a little bit younger. Um, but then when I got into middle school, you know, I thought it'd be cool to get a guitar. Yeah. And so my brother gave me one of his old guitars and i just started playing so your brother had been playing guitar for a while yes yeah does he still play um he does sometimes he was um he, he was an elvis impersonator for a while oh <laughs> <laughs> i auditioned to be a drummer with an elvis impersonator one time how'd that go well, it just never really happened. Uh, I don't know. I never heard back from him, so. Oh, no. He, I can't remember his name, but that's a pretty cool thing to do, for sure. So what kind of songs did you first start learning? Um, well, you know, it was the 90s, and I, you know, I loved Nirvana, and the whole like grunge scene and just you know learning like you know power chords really easy stuff to play just like da -da 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 kind of stuff and, yeah you know i would sit in my room and play real hard and just be like yeah na -na 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 -na. <laughs> did you play electric guitar no i played um i've mostly played an acoustic i actually just recently got my first electric guitar for myself oh really yeah in the past and year. Tonight you had a, had a nice classical you're playing. Mm -hmm. what, what kind is it? The, um, the guitar I brought today was, I think it's a Goyesca. Goyesca, I don't. Um, yeah, it's over here. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the couch, but it's really beautiful. I really enjoyed the sound of it. You make it sound so good. Oh, oh you. <laughs> You do really have a good feel and you just keep the beat going so well and just play so many intricate chord parts. I really enjoyed that. And you have a very good voice for sure. Thank you. You did a cover, I mean, an original song tonight also? Um, yeah, I did um, three of them are originals. Uh, oh. The one that I did in the middle is um, my song. And then two of the songs I did, I wrote with other people. Yeah. What is the name of the band you've been working with lately? Seven Years of Blood. Yeah. <laughs> Who else is in that band? Um, it's myself, my friend, uh, Anissa Smith. Um, I think you know Anissa Smith. She works for Dr. Steve, or she did before, um, oh, yeah. before the plague hit. Uh, she plays uh, ukulele and sings. Um, Julie Liversat plays the cello. Um, Joanna Bahandas plays the glockenspiel and she sometimes plays guitar also. And she Ooh. sings, she has uh, 
a fantastic voice, so beautiful. And then um, right before the quarantine happened, uh, Martin Back started playing drums with us. And um, I really want to uh, have an opportunity to have him back over to my garage. We usually practice in my garage or at Julie's house. And Martin really fit in with us. So uh, that's, that's it. That's us. And uh, ironically, we play mostly acoustic and we do cover songs, a lot of cover songs. We have a few originals, um, but yeah, <laughs> we uh, we don't sound like our name. I sure enjoyed your playing on those songs. I know the viewers will enjoy hearing that. And um, but um, so I'm saying, um, I went totally blank. But, um, so yeah, the, the the plague though, you mentioned that, that that has just changed things so much. I mean, what, what is your impression of of, of all this? Uh, you know, this has this has caused uh, a huge amount of just going inward for me, and a lot of just time to reflect personally. I, you know, before. I was just running around doing things all the time, spinning my wheels, just, you know, life was always just going forward. And so it's like, it kind of feels, a really weird thing that happened right before the quarantine, I broke an E string on three different guitars. Really? And I remember thinking like, that's really weird. Like just all like one after the other within three days. And the little I, e the big E. What? The little one. The, the little, little one. Yeah. But uh, I, I remember asking myself, I'm like, okay, you know, if this was a dream, how would I interpret that? Because that's a symbol. That's a sign or a signal. And I thought, well, it's like the universe is pulling the e-brake. And so it was like everything just needs to stop for a minute and slow down and quit just moving for the sake of itself, you know, like, so yeah, I've just spent a lot of time just trying to get really quiet inside myself. This is the most I've done in a while is coming over here. <laughs> this is like a big outing for me. <laughs> I'm glad you came over to play some songs for sure. And, um, I hope you have good luck with your endeavors in life and your band. And, and um, is there anything else you want to mention before we close out? Um, <laughs> just thank you so much for having me. This well, was really fun. Thank you. You're welcome for sure. Really appreciate it. And you've been playing around town for a long time, like at the brick house and just at a lot of places over the years. Um, I, not like, a, I don't really play a lot in public. <laughs> I usually just, you know, get together with friends and play at like parties and stuff. You did poetry readings at the Brick House though? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did yeah. you ever do poetry readings like at the Abbey Underground or Haley's or? No, I never went to any of those. No. It's all closed now, and so the plague has changed things so much. It's just really, um, and in places they say the pollution is is not nearly as bad as it used to be. They can see further distances, and mm -hmm. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. But again, thank you so much for being here tonight, and thank you all for watching. We really appreciate it, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for having me.